Hey guys, Tom here. Today doing a review of the Triumph Thruxton R. This bike's been kind of lent to me by the guys at Laguna Motorcycles in Maidstone. So if it is a bike you're interested in, please do give them a shout. Um, very excited to be reviewing this bike finally. Um, before jumping into the video, I just want to say as well, thank you to the subscribers. I've hit a thousand subscribers. I do have a special video that I'm going to be doing for it. Um, I was going to be doing it on the weekend, however, I had some bike problems, so I couldn't do it. But there will be something coming in the coming weeks, uh, which will be a little bit of an adventure, uh, similar to the last special I did. So the Thruxton R, um, I've been very excited about riding this bike ever since I took out the Speed Twin um, a few months back, which I really, really loved, because this is very, very similar to the Speed Twin. However, I think a prettier bike. So here it is here. A lot of the ones I've seen have actually come with the, uh, the, the fairing on the front. Uh, which I think looks pretty good, the fairing on the front. Especially like it in the silver. Um, I find with the silver, the gold of the shower forks at the front and the Olins at the back, I think just really looks awesome, awesome. However, in the white here, I still think it looks pretty good. Um, I hadn't seen one in the white before, so it was quite nice to see it now. So running through some of the specs of it, it's obviously a 1200cc bike. Um, it's a 270 degree uh, angle uh, crank angle parallel twin <laughs> you know what I mean you know what I'm trying to say um, it delivers 96 brake horsepower at 6750 rpm um, and that's 111 newton meters of torque at 4950 and it it goes it has got power behind it when you twist your wrist which is nice you've got three rider modes on it um, I believe there's the rain road and sport I've just been going around in roads so far just to kind of get used to it and warm the tyres up, um, but it's actually feeling really, really good straight away. So as I mentioned, we've got the showers at the front there, which look awesome. Uh, we've got the Olins with the piggyback at the back. Uh, we've got the Brembo brakes at the front. I love the Brembos. I like the tyres on this as well. So you've got the spoke tyres um, and, you know, you compare that to the uh, Speed Twin. Speed Twin doesn't have the spokes. I think the spokes really look pretty cool on here. Uh, in terms of seat height, it's 810 millimeter seat height. It is a 12.5 liter tank off the top of my head. And it's quite a thin tank as well. If you look at it here, that's pretty, pretty thin. I mean, I'm six foot. Uh, I've got a 33 inch inside leg measurement and feels really good. Uh, feet down, no problems at all. Compared to the Speed Twin, your feet are a little bit more back, a little bit more tucked under you, but not a huge difference. I suppose one big difference is the, the handlebars on it here. So they come, come back down towards you, which I think looks pretty good. I really, really do like the look of this bike. Always liked it. Um, and you've got the uh, mirrors, bar end mirrors on there as well. And then you've got the twin exhaust coming out the back. These are stock exhausts but they sound pretty good. I'll fire up in a second. Uh, one funny thing, which I didn't mention from when I did my review on the uh, Speed Twin, and it's similar on the Thruxton as well, the kickstand, getting it out. Uh, it's a real sort of fiddle when you first go for it to actually get that out. But once you know where it is, no problems at all. Right, let's start this up. Obviously being a Triumph, uh, I'm gonna need to hold it at a funny angle because I need to pull the clutch in while I do it. Quite a nice bassy tone, I think. We'll give it a rev as well. I think it sounds good. Really good. I like the more bassier tones on bikes. And, um, and that's a good one, I think. Really good. Obviously, there'll be aftermarket exhaust options for it, but I'd be pretty happy leaving it in stock. Uh, you then got the dials on the front, very much uh, in keeping with the bike, analogue, you've got your speed on your left, RPM on the right, you've got a gear indicator, you've then got the mode you're in as well. So, so yeah, really, really nice, pretty bike, I think. I think it's, it's definitely one that stands out. Like I said, I've seen, a, I've seen a lot of these out on the roads, and I'm always looking at them thinking, that looks gorgeous, but 
I suppose the ones that do stand out, like I say, are the ones with the, the little um, uh, wind shield deflector thing that comes around at the front. Um, I just think they look, they look cool. Oh, in terms of weight of this bike, um, I was double checking it online and it says it's 203 kilos dry, which, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't feel that heavy at all. So I'll double check that and I'll write all the specs that I can uh, confirm and get sorted in the, um, get confirmed in the description below because it doesn't feel as heavy as it is on paper. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump back on and continue my ride. Um, I'm using a new camera angle today as well. I've gone for a chin mount, so there'll be a couple of adjustments, just making sure I've got the angle uh, right for you guys. But um, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so here we are out on the Thruxton R. You'll notice a new camera angle as well. I've gone for a chin mount this time, so hoping this works out for the videos. So I've been wanting to ride this bike for a little while actually, ever since riding the Speed Twin, which I absolutely loved. This obviously very similar to the Speed Twin. The um, seating position, uh, you do notice it, I mean it's only slight modifications. Um, however, my feet are a bit more tucked under me. As with all my tests, this will be a real life test, we'll be taking it out of town up the dual carriageway back down through town for a bit of filtering and then out to find some twisties uh, and then concluding thoughts as well the bike has different rider modes I think we've got a rain road and sport uh, we're starting off in road mode just to get the tyres warmed up however we will be sticking it into sport mode at some point on the uh, Speed Twin, I found Sport Mode just felt absolutely wonderful compared to the other modes. Now we're in a 50 at the moment and I can tell that there's going to be quite a bit of wind. <laughs> it's a shame this uh, test bike doesn't have the, uh, the, the fairing on it. Because it's quite a nice uh, bit you can get for the front there which I would have if I got one of these bikes because I think they look quite cool. So up to speed there it was uh, windy as you would expect, however not as bad as I thought it was going to be in fairness, um, I was up to around the 80 mile per hour mark and it was alright and I think if you had the fairing that you can get for this, the, the cafe racer style thing at the front, I think that would uh, uh, probably get rid of a lot of the wind and make it a bit better for um, uh, time on the dual carriageway or motorway. But power wise absolutely fine as you would expect it's 1200 yeah we're all um, all pretty good at speed there felt pretty good let's um let's take a through town see if she handles i'm not sure how much traffic there is at this time of day um Hopefully we'll get a chance to do some filtering. The engine braking on this is, is, is pretty nice. You've got the big Brembo's at the front as well. Um, but the parallel twin on this, I, I think it, it brakes very nicely uh, when you're releasing the throttle. Which makes riding, I think, a little bit more comfortable when you can engine brake a bit more. traffic's actually pretty quiet today we might have some more filtering opportunity when we come back through town um, so let's talk about the the dials uh, and everything that we've got going on here so uh, two dials uh, pretty basic you've got your speed on the left and revs on the right which is fine definitely in keeping with the bike itself um, you then have underneath I can see what mode I'm in uh, so I'm still in road mode at the moment 
and then you've got your trip and uh, a little gear indicator as well. I think it looks good actually. Um, looks quite uh, quite classic actually. I like it. And I like the um, the angle your bars are coming down at. So you can see that it's coming at quite a nice angle coming down. Which I like that. I wonder if the angle is 270 degrees. I don't know. No, it can't be. <laughs> or maybe it can be. Around that way. That would be interesting, obviously a 270 degree crank. Um, if they've incorporated that into that part of the bike, that would be pretty awesome. So the mirrors, they're, they're little bar rear mirrors, uh, they're, they're good. Um, no problems at all, I think they look really nice. And I can see what I need to see. They're not massive, but not a problem, really. The tank as well is really quite narrow, uh, I've noticed there. feels all right actually I'm six there um, and I don't know I mean there's a little bit that moves out here which if I was slightly further back oh no, that doesn't work I'm trying to think if my thighs are if they were slightly shorter my thighs whether it would feel a bit different I'd be a little bit more tucked into it with these cuts on the side Not that it's uncomfortable, it's just working it out. Okay, so I pulled over just to double check the camera angle uh, and realised it was pointing a little bit too far up, so I hope this is better. See, I think it looks quite good, the handlebars. Um, thinking about it, obviously it's not 270 degree angle, uh, but it still looks really good. I, I like the way they come back towards you. It's, um, it's nice actually, it's a very, very pretty bike, this. Right, let's get out onto some twisties and have a bit of fun. Okay, first chance to get up to speed on the twisties. That has a good amount of torque. Oh. Bit of crap in the road here. Not ideal. Front brake very solid as would be expected with the Brimbos. Really nice handling on this. The ground is a bit muddy and wet though, which is unfortunate around this section. We had quite a lot of rain yesterday. Taking it easy there. I think the tyres will be warmed up now. I think let's um, stick her into sport mode as we're going through this little village. Okay. Okay, we are now in sport mode. It's just a question of pressing the mode button and then decompressing the clutch.
Now found with sport mode on the speed twin made the bike just feel a lot more in tune with me. And I'm feeling the same straight away with this. I think it's just the intuition I get from the, the throttle and, and the way it just responds just makes so much more sense to the way my mind works. Great torque and power when you need it. I suppose with this being so similar to the Speed Twin, um, it's quite a difficult question as to which one to go for. I think it would come down to uh, firstly looks, personally I prefer the looks of the Throxton R, um, only slightly but there's just something quite magical about it. Um, I suppose you know the weight, there is a slight weight difference, I think the uh, Speed Twin is 7 kilos lighter than this and the seating position is your, your feet aren't quite as tucked under you, you're a little bit more upright. But we're talking very small things. I'd say if it's this is a bike you're interested in or the Speed Twins are a bike you're interested in, I'd say test test the other one out and, and see what you think because they're both very, very good. I mean, the magic of the Speed Twin I'm getting on this. Okay, quick, uh, quick blast back up the hill, and then we'll take it back. Okay, so I'll start my concluding thoughts now as we're going into town. Uh, hopefully still isn't filtering though when we get back. But yeah, really, really good bike this. And uh, you know, the similarities between it and the Speed Twin are, are huge. I think the Speed Twin is a, a magical ride and this has uh, the exact same magic to it. I suppose the, the differences are, are so minor. Uh, slightly different weight, slightly different riding position uh, and different styling as well. I prefer the styling of this. Um, I probably prefer the riding position of the Speed Twin. You know, this isn't uncomfortable, it's just, it's just ever so slightly less comfortable, if that makes sense, than the Speed Twin. I think after, you know, an hour and a half on this, I'll be wanting a, wanting a break, whereas the Speed Twin probably could have been two hours, if that makes sense. In terms of the, the price between them, I can't remember off the top of my head what the Speed Twin was on at, uh, whereas this is looking at around 12,400 is the on the red price, which I think is a, I think it's a good price actually for a bike like this. It's definitely something fun, something special. I wouldn't use it as a daily, um, it's just too pretty for that. But um, going out on special rides out, lovely days like today, I mean, it's, it's there. The handling is, Lovely, absolutely fine. There is definitely a, uh, a difference between road mode and sport mode. What is this guy doing? Oh, okay, there's a big old garbage van coming up here. We'll be okay, but the car's on. So, um, yeah, big difference in sport mode. 
uh, and it, it just feels good the, the throttle response in sport mode it's just uh, very intuitive you, you get used to it extremely quickly I think it's I think it's great and if it was a bike I had I'd probably just leave it in sport mode and have it there all the time the weight of the bike it, I mean it is seven kilos heavier than the speed twin I can't notice it at all you know I mean we're talking an extra three and a half percent or something and I, I don't think you're gonna really pick that up in fairness people keep asking me uh, when I ride a bike you know would I buy it and it's it's difficult to answer fully because I have I need to ride a bike I ride a bike every single day I do over 100 miles a day on a bike for work um, and so my requirements are very uh, uh, refined for, for, for what I need for that um, so having just one bike this wouldn't work however I started to think if I had you know a three bike garage what would be in it and this would very likely be in there the the only thing which I'm, I'm unsure of is because th this would suit the you know I want a pretty bike want something that looks lovely um, and it's fun to ride on the weekends um, I do like Triumph as well and I think this would uh, kind of fit all those criteria the only thing I wonder is I haven't run a bobber yet so a bobber might replace this as the option um, or some other kind of cruiser type bike but at the moment yes I would have this in my garage as part of my three bike imaginary collection which I don't have yet but I will have one day previously I would have had the speed twin as the option but well, I think I just like this a bit more I think it's just it's got that pretty factor about it I'm not sure how much opportunity we're going to have for filtering today it's a very um, quiet day traffic wise I can't see any problems with this filtering at all though it's it's not excessively wide you know the weight is is fine to handle it's it wouldn't be a problem at all He didn't look, did he? Now, see, I would be tempted to filter here, however, because there's a bit of lane changing going on and he's already changed lanes quite quick without looking and he's moved over onto the right hand side of his lane a little bit cautious around people like that he's got to swing out in a minute you watch here he goes Okay, so filming up here, yeah, no issues at all. So yeah, lovely, lovely bike. Really, really enjoyed this. If you like the video, please do remember to hit that like button. Uh, write a comment, is this the sort of bike you'd be going for? Maybe hit that subscribe to stay in touch with my future content. Many, many thanks to Lagunas for lending me this bike. If it is your bike you're interested in, then please do give them a shout they're a great bunch in there and um, yeah I'll catch you for the next one cheers bye